know y'all can't respond, so I'm not going to ask. I just hope you guys are doing good today. But if y'all are one of the few, uh, one of the five followers or six now, uh, you know, give me a little comment. Let me know y'all doing good. Yo, now nah, I'm down, bro. I'm sad. That way I could respond to you, you know, just let you know you're not alone, man. Because that shit, it sucks. But um, you already know, man, I'm here painting another one. But uh, the topic for today is, uh, you know, you got to let go of who you think you are to become who you really are. You know, and there's a, there's a quote that's actually like floating around on like social media and all that stuff a lot lately or like, you know, for a while now. But uh, I just wanted to hit that, you know, this topic real quick because I actually got my own personal experience through that. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much and it actually happened uh kind of by chance you know what i'm saying and um but you know at one point you know i was like full-fledged artist you know what i'm saying I, i've been cooking my whole life though like i've been cooking not professionally but i always cooked even at home like at 10 since like 10 years old 11 something like that <laughs> right my first like uh memory of cooking was like uh I think it was uh, either my Santa. It's like a Spanish cereal, Spanish cereal type, like hot cereal or like oatmeal, something like that. It's called my Santa. It's cornstarch in English, but Spanish people make this little porridge type shit with that. And uh, on the on the box, it says to add eggs. My mom was like asleep at this time. You feel me? So on the box, I, I was just following those instructions because that's like for another recipe. But I put egg in that shit while it's boiling. And that shit, you already know, it boiled. <laughs> you feel me? And I'm like, what the fuck, you know? But whatever, right? That's one of my first things that I remember cooking, right? <laughs> That's who I am, you feel me? That was me as a kid, you know, curious, you know, because I, I was watching uh, Emerald Live. I don't know if y'all know Emerald Lagasse. I think that's his last name, Emerald Lagasse. He's the one that says, bang, 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 bang. You feel me? Him. Like, yo, I, I, was, I used to watch him, man, and I used to go nuts, bro, because, like, he's, he's, it was live. It was, like, a live show, and he will just be nuts, bro, like, mad, like, charismatic, you know, mad into it, you know, a show off pretty much, but it, it suited him, you feel me? But me as a kid, I used to, like, idolize this guy pretty much, and I used to love not only him, but I used to love, like, watching watch Alton Brown. He's another uh, cook on the Food Network channel. He's still out there. But uh, he used to have this show called Good Eats. Fire, bro. He used to do, like, science pretty much with, like, with, with food, you know. And science was another fire subject. But whatever, right? Besides, the, like, what I'm trying to say is, you know, that's who I am at my core. You know, as a kid, unfiltered, you know, that's, that's what I was interested in, right? But as I got older, I had this one girlfriend. You know, she used to paint, right? But she took me out to, to paint, right? So, and I didn't want to, you know, I, I argued with her, you know what I'm saying? Like, not argue, you know what I'm saying? But I was making it difficult. I'm like, nah, football, like, that's corny, you know what I'm saying? And I was, you know, I was just not into it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the idea. I was like, yo, just go by yourself, you know, I'll wait, whatever, right? Eventually, she convinced me, and I went. I said, fuck it, right, but it was like a sipping a sip paint thing. Boom, I went. Man, let me tell you, I, I like a week from then, I had a whole set of paintings. I was already having dreams like, yo, I painted this, boom. I, ha I painted that, you know what I'm saying? It was whack. It was whack, but it was fire to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm even getting ideas and dreams, you feel me? Whatever, right? But I'm just a, I'm just a creative person. But at the end of the day, I am an artist, you know what I'm saying? Because even cooking is an art, you feel me? So, um, but... But, but like, you know, I went, the thing is that I went full fledged, like, and I dropped everything, like, pretty much. I was like, yo, fuck this cooking shit. Fuck everything else, man. Like, I, I didn't even have a life anymore. Like, I, I left all my friends and everything. Like, you know, they would go out and shit, which is actually a good thing. Like, they would go out and I would be home painting. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was a, it was a good and a bad to it, but the bad part is that I went full in, like, 100%. I dropped everything else, all my cookies in one basket, like they said. You know what I'm saying? So, 
So from there, I spent like five years straight just painting. You know what I'm saying? And I got into some places, you know, like the into like uh, art galleries and shit. You know what I'm saying? I never sold anything in a gallery. I did sell outside of it, like four or five pieces. You know what I'm saying? But I never really sold with galleries. And the gallery topic, I'm going to say for another another uh, video. You know what I'm saying? But just a heads up. Just, you know, if you're going to go into like a gallery, you know, like with art or any kind of industry, you know what I'm saying? Like that. You know, like, that you looking for fame and riches and shit. Just be careful, man, and stick with your people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to do that, stick with your people. This, this, just, just a little sneak peek to that video. That Diddy shit, that shit happened. Did he do it? I don't know. But that type of things do happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so that's all I'm going to say on that. But, right, so I get into these places, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a full, full, full flown, full blown artist you know what i'm saying like this is my life so i live it you know what i'm saying everything i see is art all this shit right and in the midst of all that i'm actually losing my essence you know what i'm saying i'm losing like uh i'm losing my 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 charisma i'm losing my charm you feel me i'm losing my my character you know what i'm saying i'm becoming like this very like uh docile person you know because i'm also you know, I'm looking into other artists, you know, and I'm learning about them. And, and 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 this whole time I'm by myself, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like my friends, I don't have anybody to be around me like, yo, why are you changing? You feel me? And me not not even realizing I, I was changing, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't for the better, you know what I'm saying? Because change is good, but it wasn't for the better. And certain things, yeah, like I still I still do certain things, like I'm still obsessed, you know what I'm saying? With, with, with my craft and whatever I'm working at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody, some other people will find that as a negative, like to be obsessive, but hey, man, to each his own, it works for me. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> so I lost touch pretty much of who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some people say it's not good to be aggressive. Hey, man, it is good to be aggressive. You got to, you got to just tame that shit. You know what I'm saying? Tame your aggression. You know, it, it's necessary. You know, it could save you. You know what I'm saying? And I, would, I just want to say I'm sorry about the sliffles. I feel like I'm getting sick, but I don't know. But whatever, right? So, like, you know, you got to have that aggressive part. You got to have your your charismatic part, your funny part, you know? Like, not taking things so serious. I used to take things way too serious in this time. <laughs> You know, and I think it was just because, like, you know, I was trying to become something that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? At least not fully, you know, because I'm obviously I'm painting still. You know, it's something that grew into me. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, I was actually going to drop this. You know, I was going to stop painting, you know, until I got older. You know what I'm saying? Not forever. Uh, you know, just a little inside, like an inside uh side note you know that you will probably not get unless you're in my life but now i'm letting out there i was not gonna paint so i was like in my 50s 60s just chilling you know what i'm saying like i don't really got no word me 70 years old probably you know what i'm saying like, that was the idea but you know i'm back into it like it was a little like when that first video came out that i dropped with the uh, with the buddha guy and the big and the big head in the background with the eyeballs that's when I first, like, got back into it. Like, it was one day I was just home. It was probably a snow day or something. And I was like, yo, like, the, the canvas was already drawn on. The picture was already there. I just needed to paint it. It's been there for over a year, probably over two years or three. I remember I just had it hanging on my wall for a bit, for like, a long time. And I was like, I'll get to it. You know what I'm saying, eventually. But this day, I was drawn to it. So I started painting it, you know what I'm saying? And... You know, things unravel, but the, that don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Let me just get back to the point. I'll get back to that later. But so, like I said, I was losing myself. I was losing everything, you know, about myself, you know. You know, my funniness, you know. 
not taking things so serious, but also, you know, taking things serious when it has to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, my duties, my responsibilities, everything went to shit. You know what I'm saying? Just because I was trying to portray this character that it wasn't. Well, truthfully, I'll be the first to admit it. It was for everybody else as well. I wanted to sign out of it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted, at the time, I wanted fame. I wanted fortune. Yeah, I still want fortune. Fuck the fame, though. But, um, and I also wanted to be recognized by people. You know what I'm saying? So, at one point, I started working with my cousin. So, you know, I'm back in touch with him now. You know, we, we started working together and shit. We got a food truck. It's called the Mack Truck NJ. We in Patterson, New Jersey. If you all want to check it out. I don't know where you at when you're watching this. But if you're in the area, come check us out. You're going to love it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. All right. All right. All right. But, um, so whatever. Right now, I'm back in touch with him. And he knows me. You feel me? Like, we met when we was children. You feel me? So... <laughs> So this nigga, he's like, yo, like, bro, what's wrong with you? You feel me? Like, you know, you being weird. You feel me? You, you, you're not, you're not, you never been like this. You feel me? And me, I've gone through so much shit in this time where, where, especially when I was like on full fledged artist, like, of course, you know, life always throws shit at you. But in this time when I was uh, in the art industry, like I went through some shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and he's, and, you know, he always just tell me, yo, bro, I know you, nigga, like, you're not like this, you feel me? Like, this ain't you. And, like, my, my delusion in this time was so intense that I used to tell him, man, you don't know me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this is shit might sound crazy to y'all, but this shit is real, man. Like, people, there's people out there, bro, that you probably like, damn, yo, like, he different, he weird, man. Mental health, mental illnesses is real, bro. I just got out. You feel me? I just made it out the tunnel. You feel me? So, if you ever see somebody who's fucked up that you seen him when you was younger and he was nothing like that, it ain't your responsibility. But if you feel inclined to help that person, I would advise you if you could take the pain that comes with it, because it might come. It, it will definitely come with some pain. You're gonna have to definitely endure some shit. If you feel like you could do it and you care about this person enough, I would advise you to, you feel me? But it's not for everyone. So do it at your own risk, you feel me? You might even cut this person off forever, you know? But but yeah, like, and we will go back and forth every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Because of the shit that I'm going through mentally. But, um, you know, eventually, I even uh, just separated myself from him. You know what I'm saying? I was still going through shit. And believe it or not, me walking away, it was actually one of the biggest, the best things I ever did for myself because it was something that I would have done as me, who I am, you know what I'm saying? My purest essence. I like, I wouldn't give a fuck what nobody thinks. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to be done, I'm done. You feel me? And at this time, it was like a month, month and a half I left. And this time, bro, all I thought about was like, damn, I really fucked up, you know, like he really cared about me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I came to the full realization, I already knew, but like all the mental issues that I had, like all the trauma that I was dealing with, it made me like, it blinded me to that, to a certain extent. Like I saw it, but to a certain extent, it was like I didn't want to accept it to be real because I also things happened in the past but either I did people wrong or they did me wrong you feel me so I couldn't accept like wow this really you know this person he never changed you know what I'm saying he's really just purely him you know he's a genuine good person you know but at a certain point I was like nah man I'm wrong you know like he really is you know because I would look at myself too like yo I just fucked up you know what I'm saying but I'm really a genuine good person you know and I just want the best you know and I just made a mistake so eventually I had him up and it's like all my mental issues are gone, man. Like, And I don't know what kind of path y'all going to go through. You know what I'm saying? But if, you, if you're going down a, a, a hard patch, like just keep going through it, man. And if you've got somebody on your corner, even if it's just like your mom, bro, your, your sister, your cousin, your, your brother, anybody, your father, anybody who's there. 
I was trying to at least stick with you, stick by them, man, and just trust them, you know, and learn how to communicate, you know, because uh, you could get lost, you know what I'm saying? Like when you when you when you become someone who you think you are. You could really get lost in all those thoughts that you picked up and all those opinions and, and facts about other people who was probably fucked up too. Especially if you're trying to like, if in the way that you changed was kind of like imitating other people, you know what I'm saying? Which was like kind of my thing, you know, like I would be a super quiet, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm a quiet person, but I'm, I'm like, that's not my full, you know, that's not my full spectrum, you know, it's on a spectrum, you know, like people be saying. But um, it was like, it was unnatural, you know, the way that I was. And um, just realize, like, your mind will play games on you, you know, especially when you're dealing with trauma, you know, because trauma is real. You know, no matter what people say, oh, you being a bitch, you know, whatever, you being soft, hey, look, it is what it is, man. Like, this shit is real. Like, the mind is real, you know what I'm saying? It like really gets stuck, you know, you could make a routine and good routines, you can have bad routines and routines doesn't just stop in things that you do, it's even things that you think, you know what I'm saying? So when you make bad routines like that in your mind, you know, like not trusting people, you know, you like not believing, you know, somebody genuinely cares about you, you know what I'm saying? Thinking that you are alone in this world, you know, you accepting these bad things in yourself. Like, that could really fuck you up, you know what I'm saying? And you might block your own blessing, man. You know, so the point is, like, sometimes you just got to let that shit go. What you think you are, who you think you should be, you know. Oh, I should be this mysterious person or whatever the fuck. Oh, I'm going to be this rich person or this famous person. Hey, look, man, if you being yourself and that happens for you and you believe that you could do it being yourself genuinely keep going you know i ain't I, I will encourage it actually you know what i'm saying but if you're doing it like forcefully like i was at that time yeah it's not gonna work out on your benefit you're gonna get real lost in the sauce like people say you know what i'm saying so just be careful you know be careful with the information be careful with the things you implement to yourself and your life you know that other people do you know don't take everybody's advice you know listen and pick, pick and choose what you implement to yourself because it's very fine line into losing yourself and losing your mind, right? But yeah, man, that was the video. I hope uh, you guys got the message. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.